welcome. Welcome to my course, Henry VIII, The Making of a Tyrant, question mark. This is a course I've been working on for a long time and I am delighted to share with you because this is an opportunity to go deep. This is an opportunity to explore what historian Eric Ives once called the ultimate unresolvable paradox of Tudor history, Henry VIII's psychology. It's a four month course and there are eight core modules. So in the first, we look at Henry VIII as a young man. We take him from that sort of glorious young prince. Um, and by the end of the, our course, we, of course, he'll be a paranoid monarch. But we look initially at his search for glory, his dependence on Catherine and Wolsey. Then we turn to think about the divorce crisis, the king's great matter, the royal supremacy and the break with Rome. Then we ponder Anne Boleyn's fall, and we look at it as an example of court politics in action. We move on to think about the Henrician Reformation, what exactly took place under Henry, and then we consider the dissolution of the monasteries and the massive rebellion that happened as a result of that. We consider then Henry's magnificence and his portraiture. We examine the question of whether the images of Henry can be thought of as a form of propaganda or not. We look at literature and opposition to Henry, both literary, of course, and verbal. And we think about his savage response. Executions is the key word here. And then we also look at the last years of his life and his legacy. So those are the eight core modules, but then there's also a bonus module which examines Henry's posthumous reputation. We think about Henry VIII on film. Now, why me? Well, I've spent my career working on Henry VIII. I've written two books about him. I've written another one about the Tudor period more generally. I've made a number of documentaries for television about him. I'm a trustee at the Mary Rose. I used to be a curator at Hampton Court Palace. I present the podcast, not just the Tudors, all of which is to say, I know my onions. And this is both unashamedly a deep dive into the Tudor period and unashamedly my take. You won't get this elsewhere because this is what I think about him after decades of investigating the primary sources. And one of the things in this course is that I want to take you along with me to do that. So each week, of the course and we have a module every two weeks we will have video lectures uh, where i present to you my thoughts and there'll be then a one hour zoom session every two weeks where you get to put your questions to me but also there's opportunities to look at primary sources uh, that i'm going to present to you and ask you questions about and i'm hoping there's going to be a lively discussion amongst you about them because some of this stuff is so contested and so fascinating well, at least I think so. And so that's the sort of substance of the course, but there are also further reading lists for those who want to go deeper still. This is a uh, substantial, but it's entirely up to you how much do you join in. You might just want to watch the videos. You might want to watch the videos and, and come along to the Zoom sessions. You might want to do all of that and do the online exercises and read the primary sources. You might want to do all of that and do more reading. It's up to you. It's your course, or at least I hope it will be. I hope you'll join me to explore the question of whether Henry VIII became a tyrant. And if you think it's a yes, no answer, then you clearly have to do the course.